The only thing that explains what's going on around here is that Naroxis is getting inside our heads, literally. The trouble started when Sinestro brought him aboard. You're not making any sense, Hal. Actually, it's the only thing that makes sense. That brain fish must be able to jump from body to body, somehow taking over the host. So, which one of us is it controlling now? Well, not me. You would hardly volunteer the information if you were possessed. Hang on, Naroxus never attacked us with constructs. When we became Lanterns, the Ring chose us. But when we're under that Goldfish's influence, we're not ourselves. So the Ring doesn't function. That explains the weapons. And it means if you can make a construct, the alien isn't controlling you. See? I'm, I'm good. There. Well, this is silly. Make a construct. Prove that you can. A, a construct? See? He won't make a construct. He's the alien racer. Kill him! Settle down! <laughs> now let's see you make a construct. I already did. He's the alien! Back off! <laughs> this is pointless. The alien can just jump into each of us in sequence. We have to make constructs at the same time. I have a better idea. How'd he get out? Never mind that. The sound you're hearing is this room and the entire ship depressurizing. I've only just pieced it all together. I was briefed by the Guardians that Naroxus was one of the most wanted assassins in the universe, but even they completely underestimated what he was capable of. So did I. It was Naroxus that took over the Spider Guild captain and caused him to destroy his own ship. Shortly after I came aboard the Interceptor, it took over my mind as well. The victim doesn't remember what happens when under Naroxus's power. It'll do the same to everyone, picking us off one by one. But do not fear. I have an absolute test to see who the alien is inhabiting. We purge the ship of oxygen. The real lanterns among us will be protected by our power ring's life support fields. Naroxus will not. The criminal can't jump into Aya, so that means the only choice it will have is to go back to its own body in the science cell, the one room on the ship that will remain pressurized. How can we be so sure Naroxus isn't controlling you right now? Sinestro, we must repressurize the vessel. No. Naroxus is still controlling him. We must wait. What if you're wrong, Sinestro? What if it won't leave? Criminals have a keen sense of preservation, Jordan. What's it gonna be, Naroxus? If you want to live, the only pressurized space on the ship is in the science cell. I give you my word as a Green Lantern, you will not be harmed. Now go! We must repressurize the area now. Not yet. 